Hello and welcome to Salcroft Station and I'm delighted to be back on the Cumbrian coastline for my first station visit of 2023. The station is situated around 20 miles to the northwest of Barrow in Furness and it serves the villages of Kirk Stanton and Sylecroft in Cumbria. If you've seen my video on Bootle Station, you might remember that it was the southern terminus of passenger services on the line in July 1850. And the last section between Bootle and Foxfield Station, which included Salcroft, was opened for passenger services on the 1st of November 1850 by the Whitehaven and Furness Junction Railway. It is interesting that the Cumbrian Coast Railway, which connects Carlisle with Barrow in Furness, was constructed in a piecemeal fashion, with different sections of the line being built at different times by a number of different railway companies. Originally, the famous engineer George Stevenson favoured and carried out preliminary surveys for a scheme to link England and Scotland by a railway running along the coast between Lancaster and Carlisle. But this Grand Caledonian Junction Railway was never built, with the direct route over Shap being preferred. This is the view from the level crossing looking north from the station towards Bootle and a view looking south towards Millam. During my visit to the station, I saw dozens of crow's nests with the birds being very active with food being brought to rear their young. Like the vast majority of stations on this line, it is unstaffed but this ticket vending machine was installed back in 2019, which allows passengers to buy tickets before boarding the train. There's waiting shelters on both platforms and timetable posters, although this station doesn't have the digital information screens. Access to both platforms is via ramps from the main road through the village. Looking across onto Platform 2, which carries trains southbound between Carlisle and Barrow and Furness, you can see the length of the original platform, which would have been long enough to have accommodated trains around four, maybe five carriages in length. And again, looking across onto the line for trains heading northbound, between Barrow and Furness and Carlisle, you can see the original length of that platform. Today, the usable sections of both platforms have been reduced in length to accommodate the two carriage Super Sprinter Class 156 DMUs, which operate on this line. I was particularly interested in this former goods shed. The design and the structure of the building is very similar to the one I saw here at Bootle. And also the good shed at Drig. And here we can see the original location of the turntable in the former goods yard. The village of Salcroft is in the parish of Witcham, and it's situated between the towns of Millam and Bootle. The boundary of the village falls just inside the Lake District National Park. In addition to the railway station, Salcroft has many facilities, including a caravan park. There's several bed and breakfast houses, a village shop, horse trekking centre and golf course, as well as the traditional village pub. The Miners Arms 
has four ensuite rooms along with a two bedroom cottage. And there's a delightful bar and lounge area with a beer garden at the back. At the time of my visit, the pub has been put on the market after being with the current owners for 11 years as they head for retirement. The village is immediately overlooked by Black Coombe Fell. The fell stands 600 metres high or 1,970 feet. It stands in isolation, away from any higher ground, and it's this factor that offers an excellent all-round panoramic view of the land and the sea. Finally, before heading off to the coast, I took the opportunity of visiting this lovely war memorial on the outskirts of the village. The memorial is inscribed with the names of those who laid down their lives in the service of their country during the two world wars. <laughs>